term barrier system has been evaluated as a physical termite barrier by the International Code Council. This video shows how to apply a term flashing moisture termite barrier on the perimeter of a structure. The term flashing barrier blocks water, energy leaks, termites, and other insects. Here's a list of the materials you will need. The tools and supplies needed are Here's an overview of the installation steps. Prep the surface, mark where the barrier should be placed, prime the surface, install the barrier, and finally, apply sealant to any gaps and voids. Temperature should be above freezing and rising. Surfaces should be clean, smooth, and dry. There should be no caulks or sealants containing plasticizers or solvents on the surface area to be flashed. Measure and use the chalk line to mark the placement of the term flashing. Ensure the term flashing barrier will overlap the term sill barrier on the horizontal concrete brick ledge. The flashing should be a minimum 10 inches up the wall and 2 inches across the concrete. To prime the surface area, apply PolyGuard 650 WB liquid adhesive to all surfaces which will receive the term flashing barrier. Allow the primer to cure until it is tacky. This is usually 20 to 30 minutes. Measure and cut the barrier to length. Properly position flashing so it will overlap the term sill barrier on the horizontal concrete brick ledge. Peel away several inches of the release liner and adhere it to the wall straight along the chalk line. Once the first few inches are correctly positioned on the vertical, the remaining release sheet can be peeled back as the flashing is adhered to the wall. Now the flashing can be peeled back and adhered to the horizontal surface brick ledge. Adhere the term flashing barrier to the previously installed term sill barrier. Finally, roll the entire flashing. Overlap by minimum 2 inches wherever needed. Inspect the barrier for gaps. Seal any gaps or voids with term termite sealant. Thank you for watching this video. Thank <laughs> you.